There's a program on CTV called Do South. It's an adventure comedy about a typically polite Canadian Mountie who's teamed up with a typically hard-nosed Chicago cop. And it's hot. It's the first Canadian series to be bought by a major American network and broadcast in prime time. The much-talked-about star, in fact, America's newest poster pinup, is 35-year-old Alberta-born Paul Gross. On tonight's CTV biography, meet Paul Gross, the actor behind The Man in Red. It's time. It's time. Red alert. The construction worker? Better. Oh. Take it off. He is Canada's newest heartthrob. Oh. A made in Canada 90s version great. of Nelson Eddy. What do you think? Looks great. Nelson Eddy, Jeanette McDonald. <laughs> 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 Daya, I have to learn how to speak uh, Cantonese quickly. We're on the set of Due South, somewhere in Toronto's Chinatown. The lacing of them is a secret that was revealed to me by Leslie Nielsen. Actor Paul Gross is Small. being transformed into RCMP Constable yeah. Benton Fraser, a polite, by the book Canadian Mountie who's part Sergeant Preston of the Yukon and part Dudley Do Right. Supposed to have spurs on them as well. But the producers decided that I wasn't mentally, sufficiently mentally stable. He's just kidding, of course. Like the show Due South, Paul Gross takes a tongue in cheek approach to life. Yeah, yeah just try not to hold the menu upside down. Oh dear. Uh, you see that sign? That includes you. No, 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 no. you can't take that attitude. It's a health regulation. There's a very good reason for it. Yeah, you stink. Ray, please. He's already feeling excluded. Well, he should feel excluded. He's an animal. It's a great part to play uh, for a long time because he, he is, he does sort of view the world in the most positive light and sees people, I think, anticipates the best out of people. And he's nice. And he's a very nice Are guy. Are you nice? Increasingly so. I was a very mean, embittered, cynical guy before I started doing this, and now I'm I'm really yeah. nice. <laughs> Actually, before he started doing this, he was a stage performer. Oh, this is uh, the first show I ever did in Toronto. It's called In the Jungle of City. It's a Berto Brecht play. The Calgary-born Gross is an army brat who earned a degree in drama at the University of Edmonton. He went on to perform in regional theater and then to write for the theater. Yeah, I wanted to be an actor for a long time. Then I thought being an actor was kind of stupid, and then I thought I'd be a writer. And so for the longest time, for most of my career, I've kind of flip-flopped back and forth between the two. For a while, he was even playwright-in-residence at the Stratford Festival and National Arts Centre and won awards for his work. Writing has taught me an awful lot about acting and vice versa. And I don't know if I'm particularly good at either of them, but it's been helpful. Thank you for your concern. But whoever the unfortunate boy is, there's nothing you can do for him. You do not realize what will happen to him if the police get involved. The tongue make the laws down here. I don't think you believe that, Mr. Lee. If you give them what they want, they'll take it and still betray you. Perhaps, but this boy's father may not have any choice but to trust they will keep their word. There's a wise Chinese saying, under a fragrant bait you will find a hooked fish. This is a natural. And this is, she doesn't even do this for a living. This will be a long day for Paul Gross. Sometimes he puts in 16-hour days, six days a week. The tongue make the laws down here. You don't believe that. I don't think you believe that, Mr. Lee. What kind of an impact does that have on your wife and children when you're not around that often? Uh, it's, it's, it is very taxing. I haven't, well, I haven't seen them now for uh, quite, in fact, I believe they've moved. I was home a little while ago and I, there was absolutely no sign of them. So, has all this work and no play paid off for Paul Gross? Is he getting the recognition he deserves? Don't ask me what his name is. I've seen him. He's gorgeous. I saw him in a commercial. No, I in don't know Chicago. what. I don't know what his name is. The Mountie in Chicago. I don't know who he is. I don't know. He looks like a character that I saw in Melrose Place. Oh, he's gorgeous. Are you kidding? <laughs> Very good looking. And I'm from New Brunswick, so I mean, Mounties mean something to me. Sorry, Paul. They may not know your name yet, but they know a good Mountie when they see one. Thank you. Anyone carrying illegal weapons, if you would place them on the bar. Oh. You are under arrest. You realize I'm going to have to confiscate that.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.